the fourth edition of the Kenya University Performing Arts Association, Kupa Festival, officially kicked off at Jaramogi Oginga Odinga University in Siaya County. I'm the national chairperson of the Kenya University Performing Arts and Film Association. Uh, the acronym is KUPA. We are known as KUPA. Uh, briefly, just to explain to you the history of KUPA. Uh, KUPA was uh, registered in 2018. It, uh, the rationale for the registration uh, was because of the unique uh, calendar for universities. Uh, universities usually run from September to November and January to April. Uh, so there was need to align the performing art activities with the university calendar. Uh, from the time of registration, Kupa uh, had its first festival in uh, 2018 at, Mary, at Pre Presbyterian University. Uh, by then we had drama and film. Uh, it was followed by another festival in Pwani, that is 2019. Uh, where we had drama and film. In Pwani, the association grew. We had around uh, 15 universities. And then the, la uh, the third festival was held in uh, Mary University of Science and Technology, where we added a new component, that is drama, uh, film, and music. At least 30 universities across the country have gathered to showcase their talents. I am just but clear. I understand that the product of your skin. You have always told us that true freedom lies with you here in this house. Yes, so it was the moment I stepped through the campus door that I experienced true freedom yonder. Dad, yes. watch yourself. Through the screen of our lives. My name is Gobia Benson from KCA University. I'm the vice chair of the Kenya University's Performing Arts Festival. And uh, this is our fourth edition. We started Kupai in 2018. The only year we haven't had an edition is in 2020 because of COVID. Um, the festival has grown. I think we started at Presbyterian University in Kikuyu, Kiambu. Right now we are in our fourth edition here at Joost. And uh, the number of universities has grown. This year we have 35 universities participating. We have also opened up the categories. We have visual arts and beauty pageantry for the very first time in this edition. And we are happy that more and more universities are, ca are coming on board. Last year in Meru we had 25 universities, so you can see the number has increased. We have, um, we have universities, uh, we have some guidance from the Power and Secretary, or rather the Principal Secretary. And uh, I'm from Multimedia University of Kenya. I've uh, just had a very nice show. I'm happy. I'm elated by the performance done by our cast. It was a team of very dedicated individuals, uh, the young boys and girls who came together to like have a common, uh, common purpose. And they've worked so hard tirelessly for months to achieve what they've done today. And we are very proud of them. Running under the theme, Shaping societal development through performing arts. The 10 day event seek to refine intellectual interactions of the students. and 88 items have so far performed from various universities from 2,000 students. And then, God, a day to learn my choice and honor my voice in this school. But I saw suffering, penury, and want. I saw the father who
Kupaswa. I'm a creative video and stage theater content producer, director, scriptwriter. And uh, I am uh, the patron of Kenyatta University drama. Uh, also train in uh, various items, the plays, scripting and directing. Away from that, I'm also doing commercial theater. And uh, we doing a show 27th of November, which is Red Flags. At Lyon's Francaise, which is a cumulative of uh, various uh, good actors from different universities. We have Multimedia University, Kenyatta University, ZTEC, MKU, KEMU, you know, University of Nairobi actors coming together under the umbrella of uh, Dorian Productions Limited uh, to stage commercial theater just to ensure that. Uh, we leave the performances beyond the festival and also maintain a proper working relationships between these thespians who come to compete for the festivals from different institutions. Uh, my experience is uh, we have various, uh, several genres that are open for, you know, consumption to the audience and for the performers to partake. Uh, initially, we just used to participate in around six or seven genres which excludes film, but uh, in Kupa we are going to be participating in over 12 uh, genres. And also there is film, more puppetry, experimental theatre. You know, there are various genres which are, which are actually here, which essentially make it more open for people with the divergent interest to take part in fields that they feel they have interest in, which I think is, is a plus for, for this festival. My name is Michael Pundo. I'm the CEO of the Kenya Cultural Center in cooperating the Kenya National Theater. Um, at, at the Kenya Cultural Center, our mandate is to provide for performance of music, dance and drama, and, and even for exhibition of, of works of art. And, and so we find Kupa uh, a good platform for us to collaborate. Um, because part of that mandate uh, uh, mandates as part of that mandate is for development of performing arts in the country and and so kupa is such a platform where <coughs> performing arts is is being developed but uh, more importantly at the university level now um for continuity of, of performing arts and for better development of the genres in performing arts, it is important to strengthen the university level of, of performances because students at the university are ready to go out into the market. Uh, and so performances at this level are, are performances that are not only for celebrating the art or for celebrating the talent, but looking into how then would these performances or works of art presented at this level be marketed and used commercially. So now um, at, at Kenya Cultural Center, um, we look then at the commercial element because um, uh, the question we've, uh, we've been asking ourselves is after the students have performed so nicely at the festivals from, secondary, from primary, secondary into university, the question therefore is what next and the work, what next gap is filled at the Kenya Cultural Center or the National Theater because then we expect these students to stage performances at the National Theater and performances staged at the National Theater are for commercial purposes <coughs> sorry so so we come in first to show them the market side of their performances but also to encourage them to have such performances that would really have a market value. So that it's not just now performance for performance sake, but we're looking at if it is a play on stage, how will that play resonate with the audience such that somebody can pay their money to sit and watch? Now that is, is why we are here. Times go, talents fade, and this need to replenish. I'll give an example of one uh, 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 maestro in, in theater, and that is uh, David Mulwa, who is now 
uh, due to age, he is old and cannot really perform. So if we don't inculcate more David Mulwas, I mean, if we don't um, uh, uh, develop more David Mulwas, then, then we might have theater going down or collapsing. And, and so that is why we feel, even though there are talents now, even though there are those uh, prominent uh, thespians, there is need to bring up new ones so that the ones currently uh, 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 on stage and, 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 and are carrying the show mentor those who are behind them. And that is why Kupa is very crucial for us because it is a place where we support those talents and, and then find a way of nurturing them further. But then, um, <clears throat> so, so Kenya Cultural Center is ready to work with Kupa by taking the best productions here. The winning play, the winning choral verses, the best productions, and finding a way of how they can end up at the National Theatre for a public show. So, so we are working with the, with, the, with the leadership of Kupa to make that a reality. Um, secondly, we, 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 we are also offering... Uh, internship opportunities for students out of this so that they can come to the cultural center and work with production companies and see what happens in a commercial production company so that this they help helps them learn by apprentice and then it helps them also then develop themselves further as it as it's obvious with any groupings there are issues of um, uh, running down the space and and so um and, and this is common with all other students not only with all the groups not only students that most of them come to the space and would spoil a thing on another and so we find our maintenance costs going up but 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 we can't shut it out because the space is for them so we we are always uh, requesting them to use the space responsibly so that we help other people also come and use the space uh, before them but again um, the institution has very little funding and so we are still trying to look at ways of making the theater an international professional performance space uh, by improving the stage, improving the lighting, improving the sound and, and we are there. Uh, the, the, we have goodwill from government and we hope in a short while we'll have an international professional stage that our artists locally can use and stage international works which can then be exported. Today, Simon Nabukwesi, Principal Secretary, Department for University Education and Research, graced the event. We would wish to invite uh, students who are talented in art, in drama, in music, um, in film, uh, to, to form associations so that after they graduate from the university or even before they graduate from the university, they can also benefit from the Hustler Fund, which will be la uh, launched on 1st of December 2022. That fund goes to beginners in business. And uh, what the students are doing here today can be a big business. We have a lot of theatre products that can be marketed worldwide not just in kenya and we can compete with the nigerians with the ghanaians with the south africans and the rest in the world and it can be a big source of employment for the young talented artists in drama in music in fine art and so on and so forth i'm much more keener on promoting local talent as opposed to importing what others have developed. For example, our TV stations, they show us um, movies from Nigeria, from Ghana, from South Africa, and from Mexico. They should show what we are seeing here today. It is as educative and is an indicator of the richness of talent and God-given gifts in the young people who are energetic, who are brilliant, and who are also very artistic, creative, and innovative. That's what we should be showing. It's a way of promoting our young artists, marketing them, so that they become global artists.
in terms of competition and the market area where they can earn a living and grow. Uh, we have a thespian by the name uh, Eric Omondi who is pushing for 75% in uh, Kenyan content. Will it be implemented in the parliament or what are the, what are the proceedings? I'll, I'll support implementation because people need to learn from art and we need to have value for it. And for us to promote it so that the finest of the finest can be in the market, we need to give them returns as a way of motivating them to bring out the best that they have in terms of gifts and talents that they have. The Gala Festival will be held on 13th November Sunday and the winners will be awarded. Reporting for Straight News TV, I am Dixon Omari.